Well, it's like a dream come true. Suddenly someone comes to you from Fox and says, hey, how about a show about Major League Baseball? And uh, we get to use the real uniforms and come to San Diego and shoot in a beautiful stadium and get to rub elbows with all these you know, great baseball executives and players, so it's pretty exciting. You know, MLB has been so generous with us, it's so incredible, and to be doing this in collaboration with them is really something special. If I wasn't an actor, I wanted to be an athlete. And uh, you know, I was, I was acting at a very young age and it kind of prohibited me from, from following my dreams as a football player, ball player, whatever. I just wanted to be in sports. We were cast Kylie like in November and she went right to boot camp. You know, she didn't know how to throw a baseball and worked with a lot of experts, including now Greg Olson, and perfected her pitching. All three of the, the, the main actors work really hard at, the, the, at becoming baseball players. Um, obviously, it's not easy. It's been challenging and rewarding because, you know, just to be an athlete, to play at the highest level, understand that this is a dream that's shared by millions of people. We train about three to four times a week. Um, you know, being a catcher, there's a lot of uh, sort of nuances that you have to learn, and um, we've had some great guys helping us look like ball players, get the mechanics down, making sure we do a lot of reps, make it look fluid. Petco really feels like a home for us. We film a lot of the show at Paramount. Obviously, we film here. We filmed at Dodger Stadium, but because we shot the pilot here at Petco, it feels like a home. I'm not sure it's real. It's like walking through like a California Disneyland world type of. It's like everything looks like a prop. It's perfect. It's like a like a temple. It's beautiful. It's amazing. I mean, we walk on the field every morning. We we can't believe that we're here. Uh, some of the guys were actually rehabbing today. Some of the uh, the pitchers and stuff we got to meet meet these guys and, and watching them actually play. You know, you feel like you come on the field and you feel like you're a ball player and then you watch the real guys and you're like, we're nothing like that. I mean, they're, they're just amazing. I have a 15 year old daughter and I see her, you know, uh, growing up in this time and there's so many exciting things happening um, that the, the message of empowerment and equality and um, I just think it's an inspirational story and I'm so proud to be a part of it. I can't wait for her to see it. I played sports my whole life, and my father raised me, he coached every team I was on, that I can play anything a guy can play. Why isn't this possible? Of course it is. And that you need to believe in yourself no matter your race, your gender, your sexual orientation. The show really to me represents this idea that you can be anything you want to be in this world. I just don't want my girls growing up in, in a world that has boundaries. If they have the talent and they have the ability to, to do something, I don't think there should be a boundary upon what they what dictates what they can and cannot do. Um, I'd hate for my girls to dream big and not be able to, you know, fulfill their dreams because it's never been done before. So you know, there's a lot of great messages to this story, and that's just one of them.